in this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this raised garden bed into a square foot garden bed, and then I transplanted pepper plants that I grew from seed to create an absolute rainforest of peppers. So let me show you how you can grow pepper plants from seed to save a lot of money. So it all started back in February. Um, I wanted to grow everything indoors in these little trays. What you're looking at here is actually a hydroponic system that is a kit that you can buy. It's from a company called Opcom Grow Wall. And I got fascinated with hydroponic growing. I wanted to try it out because I really like gardening and it's very efficient. Everything kind of grows in these little tiny pods. Then the water goes through each of these kind of tubes uh, with a tank on the bottom. However, I didn't like the hydroponic growing. Everything has to be perfectly dialed in. So I created this kind of shelving system around that system, that hydroponic system with modular shelves that I can take out at any point in time. This allows me to take advantage of that great LED lighting that the system provides with by growing in soil instead. Now, by March, things are popping. You can see all of that stuff that I grew from seed has germinated. The pepper plants typically take about three weeks. Here you can see I had just uh, transplanted them into these beer cups to give it some more room and soil to grow in. And I made sure to label everything because I had so many pepper plants. I bought those little labels off Amazon, make sure I took the time to write what the plant is and when I started the germination just to keep track of everything. Originally, they all started in these trays and each tray has like six in them and then you can have multiple of those kits. This is probably my favorite way of growing, but you gotta make sure you label everything because you can kind of forget what you're growing. So I took the time to make sure that every time when I put a seed in, I labeled the kind of seed that I was growing. And like I said, after about three weeks, they start to germinate and then from there, I will put them into beer cups but I need some more room. So I even put LED lighting right on the ceiling because I had a nice shelf on the top. And again, I have trays of beer cups with these pepper plants. Also I have some tomato plants up there as well. But I started to realize now like, wow, I got a lot of plants and I'm gonna have to find where I'm gonna put them. And that's why I was going to give a makeover to that uh, raised garden bed that I have outside. So now we're into April. I'm like, I got to fix this up. What I did is I took this raised garden bed that I built about 10 years ago and I put fresh mushroom manure in it. Now you have to understand, I didn't mix it with garden soil. I just, that whole thing, what you're looking at is mushroom manure. Got a pickup truck full. I think it cost me 25 bucks. And I even have that shelving system or sorry, gate system because critters were going in. Here I am going to put some landscaping fabric across because I want to prevent weeds from growing, which is what I learned happens all the time. I even have a platform in the middle because, you know, I, I use these uh, blocks to kind of give it something that I could walk on top. And that's because this garden bed is probably not ideal because you can't really get in the middle. So I wanted to make sure I had some type of platform that I can get into the middle when it came down to harvesting. There's that landscaping paper. I'm all set, ready to kind of lay it out. And then I'm going to staple it. And I'll show you that in just a bit. But that's important because I really don't like weeds. I was going to create a square foot gardening system. And I wanted to make sure that I have no weeds in this and to take advantage of all that mushroom manure. Here I have my battery powered compressor. I have everything set up with the pneumatic stapler. And I even got fresh staples for this project. So I'm pretty much ready to go here and I wanna show you what it looks like once it's all done. Like I said, I was gonna create a square foot gardening system. I thought I invented this, but then I read a book and it seems I'm not the only one that came up with this idea. But you can see I got these kind of square foot and that allows you to kind of keep everything organized. And now that that landscaping paper is down, I just gotta cut holes when it's ready to transplant. It's a nice, clean, organized way to prevent weeds, like I mentioned, and take advantage of all that mushroom manure. There's the watering system that I have also set up. Now we're into May. May long weekend is when I made the transplant. All those plants that you saw indoors have grown. I cut holes and I put them. And I believe there's about 54 if I remember correctly. And these are assorted pepper plants, jalapenos, bell peppers, uh, green peppers, even like super hot uh, Thai uh, dragon peppers. So I made sure I labeled everything. Now it's all run by this Melnor four zone timer. Allows you to set up timers for every day, forever, how long you want it. And here's the water system that I put together. This is my favorite watering system out of all the gardens that I built. There's one on each corner 
from each side that kind of sprays in a 45 degree angle. And there's also that one right in the middle that does that 360 spray. And what's awesome about this is you can set the timer to go on however, what time you want and for the duration, whatever duration you want. And just look at it, man. It looks absolutely beautiful. The plants are loving it. That landscaping paper is porous, so the water is going underneath into the uh, mushroom manure. So it's always gonna be ready to go. Here we go to September, folks. Look at this, absolute rainforest. I did not anticipate these plants would get this big, but boy, oh boy, do they love mushroom manure. There are some uh, green bell pepper that you can see right there. Again, I did not expect they would be so big. Some of these peppers got so big that they actually were starting to fall over because once the peppers came, it was a whole bunch of weight. You could see there's a, those long green peppers inside there. Like, this is a rainforest. And, you know, when I built this garden, I should have put a platform right down the middle to get into it because it's going to be uh, difficult to even harvest everything. But from the side, it's really easy to kind of harvest uh, as you go. And you can see just how many peppers are inside there. 54 pepper plants crammed inside there. But boy, oh boy, it's getting that sun. It's getting an automated watering system. It's got mushroom manure, and that's pretty much all it needs. Let's take a close up. You can see there's that bell pepper right there. I'm just really, really impressed on how well everything grew. You can see there's kind of holes there and that's because the plants are falling over. So I need to next year put stakes to make sure that I can kind of tie it to hold everything together. There's some jalapenos there. Man, the amount of peppers that is growing here is unbelievable. Just give you a, show you some other stuff that I grew. Uh, here's an eggplant that I grew and also strawberries. These are from seed, believe it or not. I, I wanted to grow strawberries from seed. They're super tiny, but everything is kind of going very, very well. I was really impressed. This is a Japanese long, uh, a long, Japanese long eggplant as well. So folks, if you want to grow peppers, if you love peppers, start them from seed, especially early indoors around February, and you, my friends, can have an abundance of peppers. I'm Andy Barrar. Handy Andy. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.